with that in mind, by so that was just some of the challenges that you guys experience launching this brand during the lockdown. Can you are there other challenges that you guys had to go through? Yes, um, actually, we ang katulong story sa na um na I sure we one ship from katong specialty coffee beans from Singapore, right? So na I just time by na uh, we have a, we already ordered from from the done, but uh, the the shipment was na na hold sa I don't know sa customs or sa pier or sa tungo sa lockdown. So basically, we had to to refund the the customer kay um like expects sila na muabot after ano uh, a certain day. Then <laughs> nilapas na og two weeks. Wala pa gihapon on on our promised day. So just decided na to ko to refund na lang the the customer kay challenge kayo ang pag pag ship og imported products at this time so time ng food um kana ni ni start na misal katong cold brew na mo so kato um naka pick up raman food then um basically ang challenge jud karon is getting other people's uh, attention on social media with a with a lot of uh, food businesses or beverage uh, like like I think in the pandemic na uban food na barista na nag launch sa ilang murag uh, long dream na siguro nila ba na mo mo sell or something on their own so na food me uh, mga murag mo compete me in a sense with them. But um, basically, we were confident na kanang lain lain nami sub sub markets ganit. So in a coffee uh, coffee drinkers na ay someone na um, into specialty coffee, na ay someone na into commercial coffee lang. But really, right now the challenge is specialty coffee, especially sa Cebu is. As you said, it's growing, and based on our research, by the last five years, uh, every year, na mo open at least duha or na year ganin eh, open to low. So, in a way, sa adoption curve karon na ana sa mga early adapter or tawag na to mga uh, kato mga pioneers na na ni mga pioneers na mura advocate of specialty coffee sa Cebu. So well, what we're just really trying to do is converting the the commercial coffee drinkers to uh, try the specialty coffee of of the Cebu coffee shops, which is really challenging. Um, yeah. So on. I think I think one of the one of the advantages that you guys have in a way, nga, Okay, everybody has advantages and disadvantages right now, no? So the ones who started really early, their advantage is, you know, people know them already. They are a known brand, no? But at the same time, a lot of them especially have the disadvantage that they were relying a lot on uh, walk-ins, on people coming in. And there really were, there are some very, very good coffee shops that were just not designed for this pandemic like they were just not designed for it at yes. all their whole yes. business model was you have to come into the cafe yeah. and sit down and 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 order and mona uh, gito and then now with the pandemic now really you cannot expect people to do that in the near future uh, i'm sure they are suffering and you see that all over right now you know people are posting on social media that you know that they are just closing shop uh, because of the pandemic, uh, thank you for for uh, all of the you know sometimes years of patronage, no, and so that's like a reality right yes. now. But one advantage that yeah. you guys have is you don't have that burden of, in a way, a physical space, no. Well, okay, uh, it's it's not like I don't 
I'm not, I could be wrong about this, but I'm pretty sure if you're a landlord, you know, you are basically in charge of if you if you want to still collect rent, if your rent is still the same, if you're waiving the rent. No, so I think some landlords didn't even waive during lockdown, if I'm not mistaken. And of course, some landlords waive the rent also, but you know, you are at the mercy of these uh, of rent basically. And in a way, that's what you guys don't have to deal with. But you have the other problem of kanang, how do you market yourself right now, in, especially in a crowded space that is kanang food right now, especially like, you know, there, as you mentioned, there are so many Facebook groups popping out just about food in general. So what have you guys been doing <laughs> in terms of uh, marketing? Yes, but, uh, actually, the, I'll get to your point first sa uh, katong mga coffee shops that are paying uh, rent right now. So, actually, we, we, we know some, some coffee shops actually closed na bitaw. And um, basically, it's a matter of uh, currently this year, in, in one of your interviews, Gani, uh, um, someone mentioned this year is just to survive. Uh, oh, businesses yeah. just need to survive mayan, this mayan. year and wait for maybe the vaccine. Yeah, uh, 2020. Yeah, it, it's which is actually really true right now. Uh, I think uh, we have friends uh, in the coffee industry. They're really um, what do you call? Some are just break even, or even others are at a loss. Uh, and basically, the the ones that closed really the well, dili na nila kaya ay uh, as the rent uh, ang ubro giwe uh, at not actually wave ang term it's deferred meaning um, you don't pay this month you just pay next month or next next two months so it will accumulate in a way so and you have that obligation man sa landlord pod kay you sign the contract let's say for example you the a three-year contract with them so you'll just pay this month the next month so aside from that they they're also paying the common common usage fee which uh which is per square meter so among space lease offer so it's a per or on a per square meter basis like for example in a month 500 per square meter then there's a, the, the space. So aside from that, ang ang kuansad by ang inventory ni mo. Uh, some of the coffee shops already ordered like beans and uh, other equipments pa murag malas jud tong na na ni order na sila before sa lockdown. So how do you dispose of that? So Ingana ba murag ang liquidity sa mga the coffee shop siguro ang, ang liquidity meaning the cash on their on their accounts are cannot sustain operations for the next few months kay as you mentioned uh kani the, the pandemic it's not it's not going away uh anytime soon unless we have a, a vaccine so murag nag forecast na siguro sila ba na kung padayon ta will just bleed we just bleed money. Uh, I think it's more um, ang uban. It's time to to move on. So, more um, so, but in our economy, na rent, may overhead. So, but moto ang challenge is uh, how do you compete with others? Moto, uh, uh, luckily before the pandemic started, now we we already built uh, a following in Facebook. Uh, it's not that uh, big, but like mga current currently we have eight thousand likes. So once we post something, it, it, it can reach a certain number of people. Then uh, once we launch also our products, uh, we gave free samples to to people that we know uh, are coffee lovers, or even if the coffee lovers, yeah, people we know would would appreciate. Like uh, we have doctor friends. Na, uh, we we sent them this uh, sample to try lang to get their feedback lang ba in a way uh, uh, it's uh, reaching your potential in the future 
we're, we're actually we're we're not focused right now on uh the selling um like it, the profits or um to really uh have grow really exponentially this year our, our just our goal this year lang jod is to uh, introduce our brand and hopefully once we open our shop um we have a, a loyal following na so mauna um we have a facebook page instagram page basically social media posting lang jod by like like we post uh even uh in a day uh mga three times which is oh, ba? actually wow. uh, it's a lot one <laughs> yeah not, not 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 every day uh, not every day but once we when we have something to launch like when we launch we, we post three times a day like because uh you're the ones you will reach this morning di nanya ni mo ma reach this afternoon ba not all people have the same uh what you call this time of checking social media so we uh uh, currently, I handle man the the sales and marketing, and uh, uh, it, in a way, uh, it it helped put like in my in my work sa bank. So I research about how to market through social media, ingana. So um, so na may certain post na in a day maka three times of, of post me, but and kana um basically you're trying just to reach. To get your your at your the attention of people, okay. So um, people don't just buy from you 